drinks the sh and good morning everybody welcome to the vlog we are in the dungeon with kelsey of course after that horrible coffee experience i needed something to lift my spirits if you know what i mean the truth is i actually don't mind coffee that much but it puts me to sleep so i can't really drink it anyways we've got ball python clutches what do we have yes first up we have a pinstripe bread to a banana super enchi pin awesome cool i love it that means everything's gonna be enchi lots of pinstripe stuff Ooh, look at this looks like she just came off her eggs a little bit but mama looks really good mama don't bite it's okay girl look at that that's a nice beautiful clutch it's okay mama you're all right a little slugger in there oh there's a little slugger in there unbelievable Everything look like a perfect clutch but uh hey i'm not gonna cry over one slugger with a beautiful clutch of eggs if you know what i mean get that in there the eggs are just a little bit dimpled and desiccated meaning that they just need to have a little bit moisture but hey they'll be fine they'll pop out in no time but nice beautiful little eggs looks like a bunch how many do we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's a tenth Ooh, one in there. Ten. I love when we get the double <laughs> digits when it comes to ball pythons, so that's awesome. We have a couple more clutches, right? Yes, we do. All right, good. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let Kelsey get things set up real quick. I'll let her get onto our work. We'll come back later. We'll grab the last two clutches, and uh, it's going to be an amazing day, so let's have a great day together. A lot of people had mentioned that they really want to see baby snakes hatching, uh, and I've been showing every clutch that hatches, so I want to go ahead and jump right into it. Colubrid clutches are starting to come out. This is actually the first diffused corn, or what they used to call blood red corns, because obviously these guys have a little bit more red pigment on them, and then as they grow older, they turn basically red as a corn snake, so they lose all those saddles, and you can see the sides that are kind of really patternless. That's really indicative of a really good diffused corn. This particular one is, hoo hoo, doggy. That thing is one of the nicest ones you'll see. Look at that side. That's actually what they would call a pied-sided blood red or diffused corn, because that side pattern is really, really, really reduced and actually white blotches are going to end up coming in. The other thing you'll see with diffused corns or blood reds is that the actual head pattern is a little bit different. Looks like we still have a handful of eggs in this clutch left to hatch, but we have a whole bunch of babies out here, which is pretty awesome. Absolutely love the fact that we're producing a ton of corn snakes this year. Now let's see if we have any more babies. Okay, that's typical. I kind of realized that usually when I look at the clutches, when they're laid and there was only a couple clutches laid that day, tomorrow all these are going to start to come out. You can start to see that they're popping out. This is pretty cool because this is actually a blood red or diffused corn that's hat for scaleless bred to a plasma that's hat for scaleless. The plasma is actually a blood red or diffused corn lavender. It could be some of the lavender diffused stuff, which is the plasmas, could be scaleless, could be a whole host of other things. So pretty excited. Hopefully tomorrow we'll take a look at that clutch. So it looks like that's it for baby Kluber today. But again, I'm going to continue to show you guys babies every single day if, uh, if they hatch. I tell you what, Toothless is certainly one of the coolest animals I think we have here at the Reptarium. He is just just such an amazing animal and I've been kind of working a lot on getting him just really confident and consistent you guys remember I used to put him on the tortoise ledge to just let him walk around and explore a little bit much like I let Elvis explore well I've been slowly letting him crawl around on the floor so that as he gets bigger again he gains that confidence isn't afraid of anything that way he can walk around just like Elvis and even better than Elvis as a matter of fact and the reason I think he's gonna even be more habituated to Elvis is uh, believe it or not this guy literally had my name written on the egg for my buddy Kevin over at Nerd. I mean, he literally had BHB on the egg. So as Toothless hatched out, Kevin literally like imprinted immediately on it. I mean, took it right out of the egg, played with it immediately. Kind of like that scene from Jurassic Park when the dinosaurs hatch out and the guy is right there again to imprint on these animals that humans are okay literally that's what happened with toothless so again spending a lot of time with this guy because he's going to be such amazing animal ambassadors for hopefully the next 30 years or so so let's just give him some downtime we'll chase him around and uh, let him have some freedom And as you can see, Toothless just has no fear whatsoever. He's just brimming with confidence because he doesn't understand fear. And even when he's out like this, I can go up and just pet him. And he doesn't seem to matter at all. He doesn't run away. He's just super curious, just walking around. That's what makes him even better than Elvis because Elvis still is a little bit frightened every now and then, a little tentative, mainly good, but Toothless is uh, next level. Back in the dungeon, and this is a clutch that I was not only concerned about, but extremely excited about. What do we have? 
we have a pastel crystal female bred to a pastel crystal male. <laughs> Which is just crazy because we can get, you know, super specials, we can get pastel super specials, we can get blue-eyed leucistic, get all kinds of crazy stuff. So I thought this girl was gonna lay slugs and it looks like she might have a good clutch of eggs, but until we pull her off, we really don't know. I see some good Ooh eggs. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, not even one slug it looks like, uh -huh. huh? There's one slug oh, is in there. there a slug in there again? <laughs> Come on, mama, what are you thinking? All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. So I was super excited about this. Oh, there is a little slugger in there, but I didn't think she was going to lay any good eggs. So uh, I am just really excited that she did. And sometimes you just have that intuition where an animal just doesn't look real full. It's laying kind of weird. And you just think, oh, it's probably going to be slugs. What a bummer. So I was wrong. I admit it. I was wrong. Definitely some good eggs. Again, just one little slugger in there, which I will absolutely take. Uh, I love the rest of the clutch for sure. So we'll let Kelsey get that slugger off real quick. And how many eggs did we end up with? One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. And then you got to remember that that super special is a super version of the co-dominant. So basically special is the Lelic with Mojave. That's what produces the crystals. So if you produce a super special and say breed it to a super Mojave, you'll get 100% crystals or whatever mutations you breed into there. So I hope we'll hit some super special stuff as well as some other awesome animals in that clutch. Couldn't be happier. One more clutch. And the last ball python clutch of the day is... A chocolate bread to a banana extreme spider. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. I love that banana chocolate stuff, extreme extreme spider stuff, bananas. That's going to be absolutely awesome. Let's see what we have. And this girl's a really cool girl too because she's got that kind of harlequin striping to her. It just looks really awesome. And what a gorgeous clutch. Look at that, Kelsey. No slugs in this one. No slugs. <laughs> one slug in each clutch, the first two weren't that bad though, but I absolutely love it. I tell you what, we still have a bunch of ball python clutches to hatch, but we're definitely in the last, you know, probably 20, 25% of the year. I'm going to miss this so much. I mean, it's so exciting. But again, you got to remember now we're hatching ball pythons, which is pretty cool. How many eggs do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine eggs. I mean, what an amazing day. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. And I am working, hopefully, maybe later this week or by latest next week, we're going to have the egg hatching cam at the Reptile Live Cam's YouTube page. So you can actually watch these animals hatch over the next three to four months, something on that lines. But uh, uh, there it is, done with ball python eggs. Kelsey, you're killing it. Good job. Thank you. You know, the one bit of advice I have is as you get older, you got to stay, you know, as fit as you possibly can. I, I've got to work on that a little bit more. But, you know, staying active is important. I was kind of thinking to myself, what could I do with the BHB team that would be kind of, you know, physical and stuff like that? So I thought maybe we start like a flag football team or something like that. And uh, I don't know, you know, Eric and Noah are always doing stuff. Maybe they'd be good at it. So I'm going to go see if they want to join in and see if we can uh, give it a shot. So guys, uh, I got this idea. I think that oh I wanted to come to you guys. You know, I know Noah, you're you're off to Hawaii soon. So That's you true. Get in shape. I think it's a couple Man. weeks. Yeah, yeah. Noah, oh. you know, Eric, you've been talking about like getting in shape a little bit. Dude. What do you guys think about flag football? Like us doing a team together. Like tag or flag? Flag football. Okay. So, but I mean, you guys ever play football? Yeah, I mean, course. you did when you were young. Well, when for... I was young, I played my whole life, man. Yeah? All right, so... Uh, I hope you guys don't mind, but I don't want to get embarrassed. So can we try out a little bit? Oh, for sure. You're going to see try the skill. Out. Listen, okay. I hope Like, we'll just go out and back, and I'll throw you some balls. You guys can throw. We'll see what we I'm do. So, right, cool. receiver. right receiver, I'm starting. Okay. Um, you know, some people, they call me Megatron 2.0. Dang, uh, bro! All right, go, I was always the water boy my whole okay. life. Yeah. Well, then you might be a problem. Mum, 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 mum,
yeah, I think, uh, I don't think the flag football thing's gonna work out, so uh, I don't know, I'll try something different. Some babies hatched out today that I'm really excited about, and you're gonna look at them and say like, oh, Brian, you've already showed me a bunch of children's pythons in the past, but these are not children's pythons. These are the next wave, which are Stimson's pythons. And I tell you what, out of all of the Antracia, which are the children spotted, and Hills, and Stimson eye, Stimson's are my absolute favorite, and I am so excited to have not one, but two clutches of Stimson's pythons that have hatched out right now. Here's the first ones right here, and this is the second clutch right here of these guys which look absolutely incredible I mean take a look at these guys so once they shit out get a little bit of size to them oh my god they're gonna be amazing and as they get older I'll show you guys the difference between children's spotted and Stimson's pythons I'm over the moon happy that we hatch these guys a little species spotlight with the prehensile tail skink or the Solomon Island skink now these guys are called prehensile tail skink obviously because of this incredible prehensile tail that actually acts as a fifth leg these guys are from the Solomon Island and unfortunately because of deforestation, a little bit in the pet trade, and even reduction of food from the local people eating, these guys are really dwindling in population. Several years back, they were put on the Appendix 2 endangered species list and weren't exported out of the Solomon Islands for quite some time. Now they're supposed to only come out in small numbers and they're supposed to only be captive farmed. Now whether or not that's happening, I'm not 100% sure. But these guys are very interesting for the fact that they typically only have one baby. Sometimes they'll have twins, but they're born very big and they'll gestate six to nine months, which is a really long time for a reptile to gestate. More interesting is that they're actually in family packs. These guys will literally be several different specimens in a hierarchy group where they basically ward off other Solomon Island skinks coming in. Now the babies typically stay for anywhere from nine to 12 months in that social group and at that time, not just the mom and dad, but all the other animals in the social group will actually defend that baby. Usually about a year, it moves on and it starts its own little social group as well. Really cool animals. The Carusha is Latin for shimmering and Zebrata, Latin for zebra. There's actually two different species of these guys. There's the northern, which is Carusha Zebrata Albert Smith eye, whereas the southern version that's this species here is actually Carusha Zebrata Zebrata. Nevertheless, one of the coolest species, vegetarians, so all these guys eat eat our fruits and vegetables. They love pothos. I sure hope one day we're gonna have some baby Solomon Island skinks. Oh, oh geez. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. This thing is crazy cool. You know, a lot of snakes, they're getting better now, but you know, a lot of snakes look so oh fakey. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Thank you so much, this is crazy cool. And look at this giraffe, look how cute it is. It's neck straightens up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you can straighten bend. it out, you bend it, oh my God. I, I, guys, now, now the rest of the day, all I'm gonna do is play with little stuffed animals and little things. Look at how awesome that is. Thank you, seriously, that is amazing. Gonna end the vlog here, wish you guys an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. Comment something amazing, cause I still love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and I promise, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow.